Welcome and Happy New Year. I'm your host, Lincoln, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Dread Captures. Let's not waste any time and get straight into the captures. A brand new TikTok video from a user named Old Fogey John has everyone on the app talking. He was out for a walk in the woods at night and caught something super creepy on camera. Check this out. There's this mysterious figure just showing up out of the dark. The spooky sighting has got a bunch of people thinking it might be a skinwalker. A shape-shifting bad news witch from Navajo stories. But as creepy as the video is, it's tough to tell if it's the real deal. Is this just some slick editing or maybe a prank time just right? Or maybe it is a skinwalker. No matter what it is, old Fogey John's weird encounter has got TikTok users all fired up, debating and guessing about what he really saw. Let's start our own discussion. Let me know in the comments. Let's hash it out. Running into something weird and unexplainable while you're out and about can really shake you up. Like in this situation, when you catch something totally unexpected on video, it sticks with you. Now, it's pretty wild that these friends, they didn't even spot the figure at first. They only realized it was there when they looked back at the video a few days later. They decided to share their story as a heads up to bring awareness to other people that might be headed to the same area. Just a friendly reminder to keep your eyes peeled and to stay sharp especially in places off the beaten path where you might bump into something unusual. Now, there are all sorts of guesses and theories about what they saw, but I'd love to know what you guys think. The road in this clip looks like it's heading to some new development or fresh construction, which sets the stage for this Bigfoot sighting that's got people talking. So someone caught this figure on camera and is claiming it's Bigfoot. But we've got to mull over a few things here. The video's kind of rough around the edges. And the creature was so far off when it was taken that it's really hard to make out. Plus, we're talking about a dash cam that took this video. They're solid for the road right in front of you, but not the best for picking up on distant, fuzzy figures. And honestly, the cam looks like someone's giving it a good shake on purpose. At first glance, I thought it was the ride just bumping along. But no, the truck's not even moving. Someone's just shaking the camera and zooming in. Trying to say for sure what's in the video without crystal clear proof is hard. We have to keep a sharp eye and think about every angle. Could this really be a Bigfoot? Maybe a case of mistaken identity or someone just yanking our chain? To really nail down claims like this, you've got to dig deeper and come up with some solid backup evidence. What do you guys think about this? This next clip is a good one. Matt Doherty, a 43-year-old logistics manager, was just hanging at home watching TV with his buddy Kevin Barrett. His phone pinged him about some movement his doorbell camera picked up. Thinking it was just a random cat or maybe a mix-up with a delivery, Doherty was totally blown away by what he saw in the playback. The video caught this eerie triangular UFO with three glowing spots just silently cruising across the night sky. It just smoothly sailed through the air and then vanished over the trees near his house. Wanting some answers, Doherty hit up his dad, who is big into aviation. After checking out flight trackers online, his dad confirmed that there weren't any planes around when this weird thing happened. With no easy explanation, Doherty and others are left scratching their heads, wondering if they just got a peek at something from another world. This spooky sighting is just one more to add to the growing list of weird stuff people have seen flying around. And it's got us all guessing what's really out there. This is a really crazy video. It's not like the typical linear lights that we've seen all throughout the year. I believe those are the Starlink satellites, but this looks different. Mm -hmm. 
trail cams of spooky, unexplainable things are what this channel is all about. Check out as this mist-like apparition sneaks up on this deer. I mean, this really cranks up the mystery factor. The way it triggers the camera and then just pops up and vanishes is pretty crazy. But for me, it's the deer's freaked out reaction. We've been over this time and time again, but the animals in these videos never have any skin in the game. They're just acting to what's going on around them. But for a minute, let's think about what else it could be. Maybe it's just some fog, mist, or weird light playing tricks on the camera. Plus, animals like deer can get spooked by almost anything. So maybe that's why she looks so startled. Of course, how you see it might depend on what you believe as well. Some folks might swear it's something ghostly or otherworldly, while others are sure there's a logical explanation. Without more clues or info, figuring out what the ghostly figure really is isn't that easy. Anyhow, I think it's a mysterious apparition that's been caught on camera. Caracas, Venezuela got hit with something totally bizarre on September 6th of 2023 during a massive storm. As the rain hammered down, so did some weird unexplainable stuff. And this stuff left everyone pretty stunned and curious. Dennis Guzman was one of the first to catch this spooky happening on camera. He posted a video on X showing what looks like a dark object zooming down from the sky. At first glance, it's tough to spot, but if you slow the video down, there it is. Something dark just falling through the air. Now, I guess this isn't too uncommon, but people who saw the video were all over the place with their guesses. Some thought it was just a raindrop sliding down the window, but a closer look shows the object falling behind a far off skyscraper. And that kicked off a ton of online chatter. And just as everyone was getting all heated up in the debate, another video pops up from a different part of Caracas. Gene Tarantino, who didn't know about Guzman's post, captured something that looked a lot like what Guzman saw. Now loads of folks getting ideas from sci-fi and old legends started throwing around alien theories. Maybe it's bits from a UFO or some alien gadget checking out Earth. Others guessed it might be satellite or space junk falling out of the sky, especially since Caracas is right under a bunch of satellite paths. Despite all the wild theories, no one's figured out what it was yet. Venezuelan authorities partnered with weather experts, and they are on the case. They are trying to make sense of that night's weirdness. Wow, that really is a crazy video. I don't know. I, personally, I have so many questions about space, so... I wouldn't even know where to begin. What do you guys think? This video is wild. You don't see a monitor lizard get snagged by a fishing hook every day. Now, these critters are pretty nosy and they often check out anything and everything around them. Most of the time they're thinking it's food or getting dazzled by anything shiny. This time, it looks like the lizard thought the fishing hook was a tasty snack or just something cool to investigate. But whoops, got itself hooked. Now, I'd imagine that the person that set that hook was actually hoping to catch a big gator or crocodile. Luckily for the lizard, the fisherman stepped in and managed to set him free. But man, that surprise leap back into the water? Shoo! Coming across a fish sporting an extra eye is definitely not something you see every day. Usually stuff like this happens because of things in the environment like pollution or just random genetic mix-ups. It's kind of wild. It reminds me of the three-eyed fish from The Simpsons. But the real deal behind these weird mutations has more to do with what's happening in our waters because of human stuff than any TV show. It's a real wake-up call about how much our actions can mess with nature's balance. Sticking to the weird nature theme, have you seen this two-headed catfish? A super rare and mind-blowing find. These kinds of things aren't everyday occurrences, and usually happened, as I mentioned before, because of some genetic glitch while the critter is growing up. I can't imagine living with two heads is very easy. Struggling to get around, find food. 
Nevertheless, this is an amazing find by these guys. Get out and do some exploring this year. In early October, Reddit turned into a hotbed for crazy ideas all because of one strange post. This all started with an odd sighting on Plane Finder, a popular UK-based flight tracking service known for its detailed flight info, like speed, height, where the plane's headed, and flight numbers. Since 2009, Plane Finder's been a go-to for plane buffs and pros. But this recent event has everyone, even the hardcore fans, totally baffled. An unknown plane was spotted zooming over France at a wild speed of Mach 14, way up at 70,000 feet. Now, just for some reference, Mach 1 is the speed of sound, about 767 miles per hour. So Mach 14 is like over 10,700 miles per hour. Now, imagine at normal driving speed, this thing could shoot from New York to Los Angeles in under 15 minutes. Obviously, that's crazy fast, especially compared to the fastest commercial planes, like the Concorde, which tops out at just over Mach 2. The 70,000 feet altitude is also a big deal, usually only the playground for specialized spy planes while most airliners hang out between 30,000 and 40,000 feet. Redditors, as we know, are always up for a mystery. They dove in with all sorts of theories. Were aliens doing a quick Earth drive-by? Was it some super secret military test craft? Or maybe just a hacker messing with plane finders data? Hmm. Despite all the wild guesses and the buzz, the real story behind the super fast, high flying mystery remains unknown. So far, there's been no official word from Plane Finder, aviation gurus, or the authorities about what that aircraft was. The thought of dinosaurs roaming around with us these days is awesome and captivating. But we've got to keep our feet on the ground about this type of stuff. While science has done an awesome job of showing us dinosaur life through fossils and studies, unfortunately, there's no real proof that any are still hanging out with us today. I've seen some crazy dinosaur videos, and, and most of those videos or pictures claiming that there are dinosaurs still walking are just hoaxes or someone's imaginative story. But still, picturing ourselves living alongside these massive ancient beasts fires up the imagination and gets me all curious. So down the rabbit hole I go. And I'll say this, if there are dinosaurs still on this earth, I'm going to say that they either have wings or they live in the deep depths of the ocean. What do you guys think? This clip is super interesting. Way out in South Africa, about 300 kilometers from Johannesburg, there's this wild rock formation. On a big granite cliff, there's a huge footprint that's 1.2 meters from heel to toe. The area it was found, right by Swaziland, is known for its mysteries. But this find really gets people talking. Michael Tellinger, a well-known South African politician and explorer, filmed himself checking out this so-called giant's footprint. He figures whatever made this has to be massive, like seven to seven and a half meters tall. Even Tellinger, who's super into this, admits it's hard to explain. The idea of a giant walking through molten granite deep underground is pretty out there. But he has a theory. He thinks ancient giants, maybe doing some mining, stepped into wet granite dust, which then hardened and kept the footprint shape. Over time, Earth movements could have flipped this originally flat footprint up to its current vertical spot. And now this gets even more interesting when you look at the science. The footprint is in the Impaluzi Batholith, which is a super old rock formation about 3 billion years old. Now with something this ancient and weird, you can't help but wonder what made it. There are legendary giants mentioned in the Bible and other ancient stories described as huge, powerful beings. Could this footprint be a leftover from those giants? 
Now, while some of these stories are wrapped up in myth and religion, the footprint is real. Is it just a strange rock shape, or could it actually be a sign of ancient giants? As folks keep studying this footprint and its story, it sure keeps our imaginations going. Thinking about all of the wild stuff that might have happened on Earth billions of years ago. As for me, I'm all in on the giants. That is definitely a giant footprint. I don't even want to explore any other avenues. The thought of the Tasmanian tiger popping back up after being extinct is super intriguing. But getting solid proof that these guys are still around has been pretty tricky, and scientists haven't given the green light on any evidence saying they're back for sure. But this wild pick from the Australian outback in 2019 has everyone doing a double take. One random day, this guy is out for a hike, and up on the hilltop, he spots this creature. It's bigger than a fox, but he can't quite recognize it. It has a long, bigger than average tail, and people are buzzing, wondering if this fuzzy photo is actually the Tasmanian tiger. And yes, like I said, the picture is a bit fuzzy, but you can't help think of those old school pictures of the Tasmanian tiger, or the thylacine as scientists call it. It's common knowledge that the thylacine has been marked extinct for a while. There have been sightings, but no solid proof or credible evidence. So I'm thinking that this probably isn't a back from the dead moment for our friend here. It could just be the shadows playing tricks. This is most likely an animal that we already know. But a fun fact, these critters had a pouch that opened backwards, kind of like a kangaroo. Just one more thing that makes them fascinating. A YouTuber by the name of James Jones was wandering through an eerie forest when he bumped into something pretty weird. In this spooky video, Jones shows what looks like a dark figure just hanging out amongst the trees. The figure was wearing a hat that seems like it's straight out of an old military movie. Now, some viewers are just shrugging it off as a weird looking tree shadow. But if you look closer, this thing is way darker and more person-shaped than the surrounding trees. Plus, it's just standing there dead still, which is enough to give anyone the creeps. But that could also prove that it is just a tree. Do we think this could actually be one of those legendary ghost soldiers people have been talking about lately? What's your take? Now, we've all seen rams literally ramming and headbutting each other all over the internet. It's pretty incredible to watch. During headbutting, rams will run at each other and collide head on, pushing and shoving with their horns and bodies. The force of the impact can be quite powerful and is used to establish dominance and determine which male is stronger and more fit to mate with the females. Headbutting can also be used to defend territory and resources such as food and water. Now, I wish I knew where this video was taken, where these two animals would meet in the wild. Anyhow, look at the big buck, surrounded by these does seemingly minding his own business, when this ram takes off and headbutts him. The buck reacts and, well, it quickly takes a turn the ram most likely didn't foresee. Mr. Buck decides to escort him out of his general vicinity, so to speak. Rather quickly and uncomfortably, I might add. We didn't need to see much to realize who had the upper hand in this encounter. And if you watch to the end, in the background you can notice some feed stations. Which makes me think this was most likely about food. A British Columbia community off northern Vancouver is wondering if the strange noises they're hearing are from a Sasquatch. Residents of the island say they've been hearing strange screams and howls from the forest, mostly at night. And almost all of the community is convinced there's something out there. Here are the noises that have been captured. It's an eerie recording captured on a cell phone of something that's making strange howling noises heard throughout Alert Bay. We heard it once and I didn't get the recording. And then second time I got the recording. And that's what was on the back porch. 
Very eerie. This audio was recently recorded on the backside of Cormorant Island. One particular resident has heard it at least three times. Once during the day and the other two at night. Some disbelievers have said that it's just a dog. But almost everyone attests that it's impossible for a dog to make this type of noise. And while in most places, it would be easy to shrug this off as wildlife noises or peculiar mating sounds, keep in mind that Cormorant Island has no wildlife, no mountain lions, no bears, not even deer. And even if you choose to shoo away the sounds, there have also been multiple sightings of this Sasquatch. A lady whose father still lives on the island came back to pay respects to a loved one. And as she approached the cemetery, she saw the creature. She was so spooked that she didn't stay. Not only that, she left the island altogether. A more recent sighting happened when a group of teens were playing soccer. They saw a large creature moving against a building in what took only a few strides. The original uploader of this video goes into greater detail, so you should check that out. But before that, let me know what you guys think. I don't know what to think. I'm not really sure how to process the strange noises, seeing as the island doesn't have any wildlife. If it's not a Sasquatch, and it's not a mountain lion, to get those noises, would it have to be a hoax? Someone playing something over a loudspeaker? I just don't know, but I will say this, many on that island seemed convinced they're up against a Bigfoot. In this clip, a guy was just walking by in a park when he captured this incredible scene. Admittedly, I couldn't tell what was going on when the video started. I could see a duck with his head underwater, most likely hunting, but that's all I could tell. After not coming up for what felt like a few minutes, the man filming splashed some water on the duck and then he noticed. A huge toad had clamped down onto the duck's beak and entire face. The duck was about to drown. The man reached down and pulled them ashore and plucked the overzealous toad off the duck's face. Wow, that is just crazy. He practically had his whole head in his mouth. We see as the duck casually swims away and the man lets the frog go. I'd be interested if anyone has any insight into this. I'm sure there are frogs big enough to take down a bird. However, in this video, it's almost like the frog got the duck and didn't know what to do with them. Like, uh oh, I'm just going to hold on for dear life. Anyhow, I'm glad the Good Samaritan could help the duck out. An incredible mountain lion hunt caught on camera here taking place in Chile's Torres del Paine National Park, some type of goose or bird is caught by this agile lion. Look at that jump. So athletic. The lion made that look much easier than it should have been, and she's able to carry it off for a small meal. Of course, these apex predators are looking for a little more meat, but when they see an easy mark or times get tough, they'll take anything. Staying with the mountain lion theme, here is a cool clip taken from a hunter in a tree stand. The hunter has placed a buck decoy in this grassy area, trying to lure some game in. Well, it worked, except this isn't what he was looking for. Watch as the lion sneaks up behind the decoy. He has to be thinking, this is the easiest meal I'm ever going to have. Just a great thing to catch on camera. In this next similar scene, a trail camera captures the moment a lion has come face to face with a decoy. He's had enough of this and goes on the attack. If you look closely, you can see one of the antlers of the decoy is missing. I'm beginning to wonder if these two have met before. This interaction looks like there might be some unfinished business between these two. Anyhow, great camera footage. The concept of the video doorbell was initially introduced in 2013. 
Since its mass production, users like Reddit or Love Crystals from Dallas, Texas have been capturing unusual sightings on their doorbell footage. These cameras have been able to capture more than just human intruders. In this particular footage, the camera was positioned on top of the user's garage. The video shows a driveway and a parked car outside the user's house at night. Although it is not uncommon for these cameras to record mysterious videos of people passing by or animals, this footage captured something very peculiar. The driveway near the parked car shows two small bipedal creatures wandering around for several seconds. When they approach the car, we can see that they are around the same height as the tires, which is most likely between 15 to 22 inches. The creatures have an unusual shape with extremely small legs that cause them to waddle as they explore the driveway. Due to being entirely in the shadows, it is impossible to distinguish any specific features. Viewers on Reddit have speculated that the creatures could be something as simple as large birds or even owls. However, some are uncertain about this suggestion. It is uncommon to witness such large birds walking on the ground for such a long time. Others believe that the creatures could be a type of cryptid, perhaps resembling a gnome or garden gnome that has come to life. Without additional footage or sightings, it is pretty challenging to determine what these unusual creatures might be. Let's hope that this Redditor security camera will capture more mysterious videos of these guys in the future. What do you all think these creatures could be? I'm at a loss. Although the one commenter that said they were owls, I could see that I think. Anyhow, let me know in the comments what you think. I'm interested to hear. This encounter, taken in Alaska, is insane. A dog sledder and her team, along with a cameraman, are out shooting some footage in the wilderness. All of a sudden, the dogs come to a stop, only to be faced by a big moose. None of the dogs sustained any injuries, but I'm just going to let the video play with volume so you can hear the chaos. A home security camera caught the moment a hawk tried to dive bomb an unsuspecting hen in a backyard. As you can see, the hawk swoops in and corrals the hen. However, there's a brave rooster that is saying, not on my watch, pal. Okay, so to better distinguish who is who through all the feathers flying, the hen is the white one and her knight in shining armor is the black rooster. After the initial skirmish, the hawk rests on top of the fence line to rethink his attack. The hawk drops in for round two when he thinks Mr. Rooster has left the area. However, Rooster hears the commotion and runs to protect the hen again. This time he pins the hawk up against the coop. I'm thinking the hawk learned his lesson. However, this is a pretty common tactic amongst these birds of prey. Trying to pick off vulnerable, confined birds or animals. A few videos back we saw a similar attack with a similar result. That time, the hawk tried to escape and got pinned down inside the hen house. A home security camera captured this footage of a few deer enjoying a late night drink. You can see the deer just doing what deer do. After a few seconds of video, you can see the deer in the forefront perk her head up. She senses, and most likely smells, something is coming their way. As she takes off, that's the signal for her friend to follow suit. And before we can even see what they are escaping from, they are gone. Now, as the camera zooms in, what I think is most impressive is that I cut out about 45 seconds of this video. So very early on, the deer sensed that this predator was nearby. He hadn't even come into camera view. And look at this, 
Here comes this big guy lumbering out of the small wooded area in the background. Mr. Bear is about a minute too late. Another thing to note is you can see the lights of the houses in the background. Kinda scary that he's just making his rounds through the neighborhood. Here's another piece of the video of him coming around the house. He's a big old boy. He eventually leaves not too far away from the way he came. Man, this is pretty scary footage, but it's helpful to know what you have creeping around your house, day or night. Amazing footage here from a couple just trying to steal away a few minutes of relaxation on their back deck. Out of nowhere, they see a bald eagle swimming directly for their backyard. They thought at first he might be hurt, but when he got to shore, you can see what he has I think is a big carp in tow. That guy is massive in size compared to the eagle. The couple that filmed the encounter said the eagle gorged himself on the fish for hours stashed it in an overhanging bush and came back the next day to finish it off. Just a great camera capture. Now this is a feel good story here. Video here of a man playing with his dogs while camping. Three dogs just roughhousing out in the water fetching a stick. You can see one of the labs gets the first stick his owner threw. Then the man launches another one to the right. The camera focuses in on the dog swimming in with the stick. And almost immediately, to me, it looks like he's struggling to keep his head above water. But then when he gets closer, you can notice he's abandoned the stick and he's just trying to make it to shore. But suddenly he goes under and his owner sprints out into the water and pulls him up. The man is fully clothed and struggles to grasp the pup. A friend comes to help out and they get the dog on land. And thank God the pup makes a full recovery and is just fine to this day. Man, I don't know about you guys, but my dog is family to me. So I don't blame the man for jumping in for the rescue. Fully clothed, phone in pocket, whatever it takes. I sensed something was wrong when the dog ditched the stick. Anyhow, great job paying attention to your surroundings by the owner. Just a rather strange video here, as we see this cat is holding a small bunny prisoner. Eventually the cat leaps up to an overhanging porch with the bunny gently in its mouth. As the cat takes his eye off his playmate, the bunny sees his chance and slips through the bars and flies down to the ground. He takes off across the green grass as the cat finally notices and takes pursuit. And just when it looks like the bunny might get away, You've got to be kidding me. A hawk swoops by and snatches up the very, very unlucky bunny. Man, what a crazy turn of events. And it's very easy to see why having a bird's eye view lends such an advantage. A photo taken in an undisclosed location in the US shows a strange shape floating in the dark. It looks like the upper part of a person's body and head, but the lower half disappears like mist. It appeared then disappeared after a few seconds, and it has since made the property owner feel very uneasy when walking in that area. This particular photo has sparked a debate among believers and skeptics about whether it is proof of the supernatural. Stories about ghosts and shadowy figures have been told for centuries, and some people think they are real while others don't. Photos like this, this exact type of mystery and intrigue of the unknown, attract many to investigate the paranormal. Even though we may not be able to explain the figure in the photo, it reminds me that there are still unexplained things in this world that fascinate us. A surreal scene here as we see a flock of birds hovering over this house before dive bombing the home through the chimney. 
located in California, 1,500 plus birds flew into a man's house who said that this was the most unimaginable thing he's ever been a part of. He had no idea what was happening. The noise, the waste they left behind, just sheer chaos. All in all, it took three entire days to remove all of the birds manually. In this last little clip, you can see he was able to use a fireplace screen to block, he estimates, another 1,000 birds from entering the home. Good quick thinking, but what an absolute disaster. Man, I'd love to know why they did that. This next recording took place at Klingman's Dome, the highest peak in Tennessee Smoky Mountains. According to the narrator, while strolling along a path, they noticed a group of individuals gazing up at the trees. They appeared to have spotted what resembled a bear, but this bear was standing upright on two legs and never dropped down to all fours. Due to the creature's size, many were convinced that it was a genuine Bigfoot sighting. The video doesn't give definitive evidence to what the creature could be, but if you listen to the audio, you hear a few of them say, that's a Bigfoot. I will say I'm a little surprised at how calm they all are. And if it was just a bear, I feel like that many people wouldn't be stopped on the side of a trail just watching. And then again, if it is a bear, they might be a little too close. He could close that short distance in no time. Maybe they're planning on playing a little game of, I don't have to be the fastest, I just have to be faster than the slowest. Anyhow, great capture, and this definitely seems to be one of the more credible videos that I've seen. Let me know your thoughts. This is an incredible video here. A man says an alligator, which he had never seen before, made its way through a courtyard, but got stopped. Very briefly stopped by this black metal fence. Just look at this. Look at the power. I don't even really know what to say. Let's watch it again. The man helps him out the rest of the way. Do we have any viewers in here that live near alligators? And if so, have you ever seen anything like this? Animal Wiki uploaded a peculiar TikTok video allegedly filmed in a rural mountain range in Japan. In the clip, a small dragon-like creature can be seen swimming in a stream. While some viewers dismiss it as a hoax, it looks rather real, and it's fascinating how dragons are embedded in the mythology of various cultures worldwide. Dragons have been believed in some shape or form by civilizations across the globe for thousands of years. In Europe, dragons were known for their massive size and fire-breathing abilities, while in ancient China they were revered for their control over the weather and supposedly guarded heaven and earth against outside forces. Perhaps there is some truth to these legends. Ultimately, I'll let you decide. One of the most surprising sightings that you could capture on a trail camera was possibly captured by this one. Instead of the usual animals or nocturnal creatures, a decent amount of fully armed soldiers carrying automatic rifles were spotted walking through the forest. And this trail camera caught it. This seems pretty suspicious to me. Maybe they're sneaking up through the woods to surprise a drug operation. Another commenter mentioned that they were there for training. Seems a little too close for comfort seeing as this man has a trail camera on what I'm assuming is his property. Anyhow, thank goodness it was daylight. Otherwise, it really would have been a startling scene. This clip right here is just a cool capture. A horse grazing his field when a wild boar shows up. The boar is kind of sniffing around, but he seems like he wants to mix it up a little bit. 
The horse tries to defuse the situation by walking away, but the boar wants the action. As the pig gets a running start, he lunges for the horse's tail, and she bucks her back legs and hooves, catching the boar with a body shot, and he takes off. Probably a little out of breath, but he should be lucky he didn't catch one of those kicks to the head. Countless individuals across the globe enjoy taking walks in their nearby forests, not only for the physical activity, but also for the unpredictability of what they may encounter during different seasons. One such man, James Rankin, is a resident of Long Island who likes to go on hikes. However, his usual routine was disrupted in October of 2016 when he stumbled upon a clearing in Berkeley Jackson County Park, located in Huntington, New York. To his surprise, he noticed over a dozen missing person posters attached to the surrounding trees, all of which were real cases from the New York area and recently printed and laminated for protection. The majority of these posters were of women, with a few men as well, to add to the eerie scene, there appeared to be a shrine made of carefully placed twigs at the center of the clearing. James, fearing that he might have uncovered a serial killer's hideout or something even worse, he notified the local police department. It was then, and only then, that he learned the truth behind what he had seen. The posters in the clearing were part of preparations for an upcoming Halloween party. What? And after a few weeks, everything was taken down and removed. Despite knowing the reality, Rankin still has found it challenging to continue his walks with the same sense of adventure. He's slightly anxious about what he may encounter around each corner. Yeah, I don't blame you, James. This is pretty creepy. I mean, that is strange. I like parties as much as the next guy, but I don't want anything to do with that Halloween party. I mean, whoever thought of that has some issues. Anyhow, let me know in the comments, are you going to this party or are you going to sit this one out? In June of 2021, TikTok user Klaxattax uploaded the following piece of footage and it's been freaking viewers out ever since. Check this out. From what is visible, there appears to be a large two-legged being moving at a leisurely pace across the property of the man in the video. As you can see, the video also shows their pet dog intently observing the figure from afar. No one has been able to provide an explanation for the sighting, leaving those who watched it wondering whether the entity was an intruder or something of a more mystical nature. A few days later, Klax Attacks posted another video updating regarding the sighting. He has no idea what this could have been. Some commenters said a ghost, a wendigo, or the most popular comment was that it was a skinwalker. Let me know your theories. All I know is that it's pretty creepy. The man seems to be tucked back there pretty nicely in a desolate piece of property. On March 23rd, 2023, a video clip was uploaded to TikTok by a user named Moto Owens. Moto is known for sharing videos of himself riding his dirt bike through wooded trails. Despite frequently riding through this area, he had never come across anything unusual until that day. As he was traveling along the path, he rode up on some scattered bones, which was pretty unsettling. He didn't stop to look, but it's unclear whether the bones are from an animal or a human. Despite the bones, Owens continued along the trail until he encountered a fallen tree that was blocking his path. He got off his bike to move the tree, and at that moment, something pretty terrifying occurred. The voice sounds like it could be from a person, but it's not quite high enough to hear. You might need to slow it down a little bit or turn your speakers up really loud. Moto doesn't stick around to find out. Commenters on the TikTok thought it could be a mountain lion or even a skinwalker shape-shifting and trying to lure him into the woods. Yeah, I think it's a good idea that he left. Let me know what you all think this could have been. In 
a cool sight here as we see a bird of prey trying to dive bomb and snatch up a kangaroo, which when I say it out loud seems pretty weird. Experts suggest that the birds may perceive the prey below to be much smaller than it really is when they are in flight above. Some of them make contact with the large prey before realizing it is much, much bigger than they were expecting. The kangaroo wasn't harmed. Rest assured, he can surely defend himself from these birds. I wasn't sure if this first attack was a one-off, but then I found this video. Watch as this trail camera picks up the moment a bird of prey swooped in after this kangaroo. Initiating contact and a little scuffle ensues. The kangaroo is able to break free, and I'm sure the bird realized that this wasn't worth the hassle. Anyhow, this is definitely new to me. I hadn't seen any of these yet. This footage here captures a moose staring directly into a trail camera. However, the frightening aspect of this video is what appears in the background behind the trees. A set of glowing eyes is visible, appearing to stalk the moose. These eyes move from one side of the screen to the other, at the height of a person. By the end of the clip, the moose appears to have noticed this presence. But the question remains, what is this? Is there really something stalking this moose? Could it be a wolf? Maybe a mountain lion? Or something even more unusual? This trail camera watching this mother falcon in her nest captures the moment a sneaky marten gets to the nest and robs it of its eggs. One by one, this sneaky little devil pulls them out of there. Perhaps the more fascinating part of the video is that it appears the marten arrives almost immediately after the falcon leaves. Now, I look to see if the video was edited there like maybe he didn't show up that quickly, but I can't tell. If it's not, that Martin is incredibly stealthy and it would mean that he was practically hiding directly under the branch or whatever structure this nest was on, undetected. Nature is cruel and incredible. No better way to kick this video off than with an absolute behemoth mountain lion clutching this tree on his way down. I mean, look at the muscles in the shoulders and back of this thing. Just lean, pure muscle. In his lower arm, you can see a vein pushing through his fur. This guy is jacked. This photo was taken two years ago in Nevada by Reddit user former fruit. Now tell me, What's your game plan if this guy is shimmying down a tree in your direction? I don't know what mine is, but I can tell you what it isn't, and that's to stick around and take a picture. This is just amazing footage right here. A trio of falconers have attached a tiny camera to some of their falcons to give us an up-close look into what it looks like during a falcon hunt. It is just unreal. Check this out. The crows that they are hunting are highly intelligent and will find various ways to destroy farmers' crops. So, hunting with falcons is considered a traditional and effective method of pest control. It helps to keep their numbers in check and prevents damage to crops and other property. Just incredible. Here are some still images of the hunt.
This next clip is from a biker with a GoPro attached to his helmet. As we watch, everything seems fine until he hits this narrow walled path and boom, out of nowhere, something jumps in front of him, scares the bejesus out of him, almost causing him to wreck. He stops and looks back, but whatever it is is gone. When we slow down the footage, it definitely looks like it could be a monkey. But the biker says no way, no way that was just a monkey. According to him, it had gray skin, so if anything, it was a dog-monkey combo. So what do you guys think? Was it just a monkey and the biker got spooked for nothing? Or is it something else entirely? We may never know. However, let me know your thoughts. Okay, so this next video clip is awesome. Footage taken in Alberta, Canada, right next to an oil drilling crew and its setup. One day, a member of the crew spots a dark figure off in the distance on a tree line, so he grabs his phone. And the next thing he knows, out of nowhere, he sees a tree being thrown by said figure. Now, no one has been able to determine what this creature is. And ultimately, it got sent to Thinker Thunker, a very popular YouTube channel. And Thinker Thunker first says he's not here to rule on what this is. But he also quickly points out that whatever in the world this is, it has superhuman strength. Some viewers have even said that the tree is fake. But he goes on to explore the dimensions of the tree and the weight and is able to determine that the tree being thrown is at least 4 meters long, or 12 feet, and weighs 50 pounds. And he places a lot of emphasis on these being very, very conservative figures. He even offers up a rebuttal for those that say the tree is fake. He explains that sometimes our mind sees things so incomprehensible that it can't, won't even register in our minds. Thinker Thunker dives into if this is a fake tree, and so be it. Maybe it's PVC pipe, a movie prop, paper mache, or some other material. However, whatever it is, it's still heavy, and it still got thrown a good distance from the tree line. By something. And as I mentioned, he's adamant about not trying to determine what this creature is. He's left that to everyone else. Man, I hope you guys look this video up because he goes in depth. It is super, super interesting. And this is just a small clip. But I have to say, I pretty much agree with them. Something through this. And for me, the way it lands is key. The tree looks dead weight. It doesn't rattle or bounce and slowly hit the ground. It looks exactly the way a tree would look hitting the ground. Man. I would love to know everyone's thoughts on this, and if there's any more information on it, please let me know. This next clip contains yet another strange, unrecognizable creature, this time caught on outdoor security footage. As you can see, a small hairy creature is wandering around this back patio. The original uploader described it as scurrying around on two little legs super quick. As you can see, the critter's body is covered in fur, but from this vantage point, there don't seem to be any arms. To be honest, it's more interesting than scary seeing this little ball of fluff walking around. But I'm also curious to know exactly what it is. Personally, I think it's an animal on four legs versus two legs which makes it more reasonable. Nevertheless, good footage. If anyone has any more info, let me know in the comments. Here we have an old National Geographic video, and supposedly it shows a sighting of Bigfoot in Eastern Russia. A few kids recorded it on their phone, so the quality isn't great. In the clip, you can see the kids playing in the snow, but they notice some big footprints and decide to follow them. They stop near a group of trees because they see something moving in the distance. At first, like everyone, they think it might be a bear. But as they look closer, they realize it could be a tall, hairy, humanoid creature. The wild part is that the creature notices them too, and immediately darts away deeper into the forest. 
The kids were interviewed and later described the creature's face as white and hairless, opposite of the rest of its body. So what do we think? Did these kids really see Bigfoot or was it something else? This is an odd occurrence here. Witnessed by Washington locals nearly a year ago, numerous fish were filmed crossing the road and the whole town was abuzz. For those without much experience around the water, they thought these fish had gone crazy. But the salmon were crossing the road from a field that they had been washed into due to their original home, the river, flooding. Although this is a rare sight, some old timers in town said they had seen this happen at least once before. And another townsperson commented on the original upload said that some good Samaritan passerbys stopped and helped a lot of the fish over the road. Pretty cool. Let me know if you guys have seen anything similar. Most people think that werewolves only show up when the moon is full, but that's not always true apparently. About three years ago, a man in Brazil said he spotted one almost in his backyard. And he says he has proof that the beast was hiding right behind his fence. And he says it came out of the forest from behind his house. The man was able to film it and said the werewolf tried to attack him. Fortunately, the guy lived to tell the tale, but he wasn't able to catch very good footage before it disappeared into the night. What are your thoughts on this one? Our next clip shows a guy who set out one day and wanted to take some awesome nature pics. And he also thought it would be cool to see it from his dog's point of view. So he rigged up a camera on his dog's collar and they went off into the woods. A half a mile or so onto the trail, the dog's camera picked up a big two-legged creature walking in front of them. The man said he didn't know it until he got home and reviewed the footage. Again, some people said it was a bear, but bears usually stand their ground, at least briefly. They don't immediately run and hide. So once again, this brings up the idea of Bigfoot. You can definitely see the creatures walking on two legs. What do you guys think? Personally, I'm a little skeptical. It might be a fake. I don't like saying that, but there's something suspicious about it. Pretty creepy video here from Reddit user Falco Darkblade. I think I saw that this was taken in Afghanistan, but don't quote me on that. Anyhow, as we watch, this man is going to crouch down near this rock. And very briefly, we're going to see a creature's face and eyes. He's shining his flashlight. He'll eventually zoom in and shine it into this crevice. You have to be looking intently because it happens fast. Let me know in the comments what you think this is. Most people are just saying that it's an owl. And unfortunately, I think they might be right. But if I stumbled on that thing at night, I'd be scared too. This next trail camera capture came from Redditor um, yeah, no, 37. I'm just going to paraphrase what she had written. Taken at night, we found this pic from our trail camera we had set up by an old farm field of ours. We don't know, and nobody else seems to know what it is. And honestly, it's freaking us out. The cam only takes pics when it detects motion, and it was dark out, so it's not a bug or some other debris caught in the light. Also, there aren't many bugs around because of the hard freezes. We're in a remote area, so no car or people with flashlights are around. And no air traffic either, so it can't be a helicopter light. The weather was windy and rainy, but no lightning according to my lightning alert app. By the way, we're in northern New York, close to Canada. The next day, my hubby went to check it out, but he didn't see anything weird. Our first guess was that it could have been a meteorite but we quickly crossed that off the list. Some people are saying it's ghosts or aliens, but we need some real answers. Personally, I think it could be ball lightning, but I think normal lightning detection would have picked that up. I just don't know. Can y'all help us solve this mystery? 
All right. Well, those are definitely an interesting few pictures they have. It would be really cool if there was proof it was an alien beaming down light from a UFO. Lightning is probably the most reasonable possibility, but in the last photo with their husband walking the area, it doesn't seem like the ball or beam of light left any impression on the ground. I don't know enough about this topic to really speak on it, so let me know what you guys think about this. A man was out hiking in a big national park in the United States, and while he was walking on one of the trails, he stumbled upon something that took his breath away. Luckily, he had his camera with him, so he decided to take a picture of it. What he saw was the remains of an animal that he couldn't identify. Now I warn you, it might be kind of disturbing to some people. Since he's posted it, the picture has gone crazy on the internet. And lots of folks have been trying to guess what it could be. A lot of people have theories, but nobody knows for sure. Some people are saying it's just the skull of a bear. But what do you personally think? To me, this looks like a dog man skull. The lower jaw protruding out kind of makes it look like a gorilla as well. I would say the consensus is saying that it's a bear skull and I can definitely see the resemblance. If it's a bear, I guess he's missing his snout. It's not in the picture. And the snout being ripped off, but the top row of teeth being there is odd. Man, I don't know. I'd be interested if anyone is 100% positive on what this is. This footage was taken in a location described as a Bigfoot hotbed. So when this trail cam owner got a look at this creature and its wiry hair up close on his trail camera, his heart rate skyrocketed. You can see whatever it is using its giant paws to try and pull the trail camera down potentially not wanting to be seen. But once the creature slows down and takes a step back, we can see that it is just a curious bear. However, he is intent on pulling this down. All of a sudden, the video goes dark, and it seems Mr. Bear is victorious. This trail cam here installed in Japan shows that it too was dealing with some sort of creature trying to dislodge it. All we can see is the hair and whiskers of a creature that eventually turns out to be a wild boar. This guy is trying hard, and if you need any more proof of what kind of animal this is, you can notice his little pigtail wagging. By now, I'm sure we all know how relentless these animals are, and he is bound and determined to break this camera off this structure. Unlike the camera in the last clip, this guy was able to hold on for dear life. Last year in the forests of Canada, a farmer attached a trail camera to a tree hoping to catch some good footage. Well, he got what he came for. A nice sized buck in rut is caught on camera scraping the tree. Really cool to see his antlers fly in and out of frame. It's unclear whether the flash of the camera annoyed him or if he was just scraping his antlers. Caught in an adjacent trail camera, we see a buck wallowing in a mud hole, using his antlers to dig it out. Deer and elk and others will use a wallow to keep cool on hot days and also to help keep off ticks and other parasites. Either or, this is a great capture. Filmed somewhere in southern Florida, this is just an awesome trail cam video of a monstrous gator up close and personal. His eye shine makes him look super creepy and it appears he is heading right for the camera until he ultimately passes it by. Not an animal you want to run into ever. Honestly, I'd have a hard time going back in daylight to retrieve this camera. What say you guys? The last trail cam photo in our in-video compilation is that of a gray wolf, peering intently into the camera. This footage captured in northeastern Washington shows the wild wolf at someone's campsite and very interested in this camera. The next shot we see the inside of the wolf's mouth as he attempts to chew it from its straps. 
The wolf was actually successful in pulling it off, but the owner was able to recover it only about a football field away, with only minor damage. Our last photo here is from Redditor Mamma Mia. While I will always try to give priority to trail camera videos and wildlife footage, I stumbled upon this in my searching and added it in just because I think it's really cool. It looks like she's using an old box camera and many commenters are saying that this is quite possibly the first mirror selfie ever taken. I don't know about that, but I found it pretty cool. Thank you guys for watching.